What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is the start of the next five days of it, the adventure travel slash supercar. It's gonna be nuts, it's gonna be epic vlog. So I just put some heat in the Huracan. I gotta rip up island, pick up Dave, and I'm, I'm late, so I, gotta, I really gotta cruise. And we gotta get on a seaplane, head to Vancouver. Our cab. Well, in Nanaimo, there's one taxi cab. For all in Nanaimo. For all in Nanaimo. So we're the. We're, we're He's the... also the mayor. Bye, Lambo. Got it? Right to you. There you go. Thank you. First of many flights on this trip. Oh yeah. Seaplanes are always fun. Quickest way. We also have helicopters, which if the weather gets nasty and these things can't fly, the helicopters almost always fly. Really? Yeah, because they got all the instruments. So we're right now in Coal Harbor, downtown Vancouver, British Columbia. Beautiful city when you come in. Look at the skyline. Pretty sure those are yellow, like plastic rim protectors, so you don't curb your wheels. Really? Yeah, no joke. Because there's a couple of scuffs, and they were like it was like uh, plastic. I've never seen them before. See? They are, dude. They like attach, like right there. Yeah, they're like. That's funny. You ever seen that? Never in my life. What up, home slice? I swear, it just rains every time you come in. I know. I try not to come when it's nice. Hey. Hi. We're going to go get something to eat. Thing sounds angry. We're with Gabe, you guys. Vehicle sounds. A lot. It sounds angrier than the last time I was in it. Cold start. Is that all it is? Yeah. Watch, wow. it'll go into nothing shortly. Oh, yeah, my Lambo does that, too. Do you know who that is? Who's R8 is that? That is Nardo R8, Eric. Eric. Oh, it's Eric Dietz's. I was just texting him. This is my buddy Eric's car. Eric's from Southern California. He drove up here over two days and just randomly we pull up and here's his car. Nardo R8. That's funny. This is a very daily driven exotic. It has 100,000 miles, or just, I think, 99,000 miles. Almost yeah. at 100. A lot. California. <laughs> Look how dirty the wheels are, bro. That's as daily driven as it gets. <laughs> HREs. What? Life in Vancouver, or British Columbia in general, it's uh, umbrella life. Yeah. This is where we're going? Yeah. Oh, pokey. Yeah. 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 We're gonna go for the first bite. A little taste test right here. The music's the best part of this place. Yeah. Hip hop rap music. So good. Yeah. We need to find a location for today's podcast. Oh, oh yeah. That gold paint. Wheels on that sick. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at the lineup outside of Lambo. This thing's a monster. <laughs> That's mine, right? Porsche yeah. Americano. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
you. Cheers, bro. SR Auto Group. Wow. Epic. Look at these cars. The Bugatti. The 918. Oh yes, the P1. What? Okay guys, we are at SR Auto Group. My good friends here are gonna give us the privilege of hosting our second podcast here with Dave, uh, Dave and Gabe with uh, the hypercars in the background. So let's get to the setup. Got the mics, got the mixer. Let's Dave's do gonna this. do the setup. We got uh, Gabe to the rescue with the uh, stand. Yeah, that's perfect right there, brother. Well, Dave's doing that. Why don't I show you guys uh, some nice cars? P1. Bro, the wing on this is my favorite. Hands down, like, look at this. Oh, and that center exhaust. The diffuser, how it's like partially detached with all the space. Yeah, I, th I think you tried to replicate this on your uh, current Huracan. <laughs> Oh man, I wish. <sighs> Probably one of my favorite hypercars of all time. Just the lines. So this white has like a pearl in it. It's got like a bluish uh, tint to it if you were standing here. I don't know if the camera would pick it up. A little bit? You guys see that? Oh wow, it does pick it up a little bit. Those massive vents with the fans. The legendary Porsche 918 Spider. This with upgraded YSAC package, the fins. It's art, it's art. And then we have the off-white metallic Bugatti Veyron. Arguably one of the original uh, hypercars and it's you know famous for its top speed. Doing 250 miles per hour was one of the fastest cars on earth it's able to do that through a W16 engine with four turbochargers. It produces well over a thousand horsepower. The power is put through to the ground uh, via an all wheel drive drivetrain. And then it's matted with these very special one off tires made by Michelin for this car. And they're glued to the rims, you guys. They are glued to the rims so that they don't slip or spin, I believe. And at high speeds, they only last for minutes, apparently. Um, as well as the tank of fuel would run out at top speed, 250 miles per hour. Insane car. The cost of these tires is at, at somewhere around the neighborhood of $40,000, $40, so I believe $10,000 a corner. Every three tire changes, I believe they recommend you change the wheels, or you have to change the wheels if you want the guarantee of uh, being able to hit that 250 mile per hour mark. Insane. Crazy, the maintenance on this. And I think the wheels are like 40 or 50 something like that thousand dollars to replace we have an active arrow wing at the back this works to create downforce or uh, to reduce the drag and it also works as an air brake so it'll flip up and capture a ton of air and help slow the car down w16 engine gorgeous very unique to this car all right guys so uh Welcome to the Daily Driven Exotics podcast number two. Woo. Um, another successful podcast in the history books. Thanks to Gabe. Yes. And Dave. Hey. The hey. audio engineer. Sound engineer. Sound engineer. That's, yeah, bro. High five. No, you, you, got, you got illness. <laughs> I don't want any of that. such a magical process you know like uh, when you're just putting these notes together you know and uh, it's just a certain combination of, of notes just really mean something you know, sometimes and, and uh, sometimes you get lucky and you come across you know a few notes that just really work well together and, and it's, it's just a, it's a magical moment you know <laughs> We are about to enter the historic Chinatown portion of Vancouver on our way 
to a secret location. Is there a secret knock? This is Adam, this is Brixton Forged. Is that the full name or is Brixton it just Brixton? Forged Wheel Co. Brixton Forged Limited. Wheel Co. Limited. And this yeah. is, uh, is this your head office? Uh, design and engineering studio. So this is where our design happens, marketing, engineering, all that sort of stuff. You're gonna show us some cool stuff about how you guys make wheels. Um, yeah. As far as like in the bit. computer, right? All right, Adam's gonna show us how they make, well, not make the wheels, but like the, the what's it called, the render? The, yeah. what is it? Basically, I mean, taking a model from start to finish, um, a little bit of the client experience, I guess, could be a good thing to show you guys. Um, one thing and one good example for today is actually a customer with a, a Ford Raptor. So we have to take a wheel that's designed for a five lug and we gotta turn it into a six lug. Then we basically do a 3D model, 3D rendering, and we also superimpose it on their car so they can see you know, what the final result's gonna look like when they, uh, you know, while they're purchasing it and have an experience. Um, cool. Through the production. So All right. What we start with, so in this case, we had a, a, a client that really liked this wheel here. Yeah. So we call this one the M51 Duo for Duo Block, so two piece. Um, this is our, we call it a P3 profile, so we've got various profiles that we start off with. Um, and this is our most concave one. Um, so what we do is we take this model, obviously a five lug. If you did six lug, you'd end up breaking through some of these windows, right? So it'd be an off pattern. It wouldn't match the pattern that the wheel's designed for. So customer came to us, wants it, and we gotta come up with a revision. We've gotta test it. We've gotta make sure it passes load ratings, all that sort of stuff. So um, I can show you what we ended up with. So wow. this is basically the revision. You can oh, see okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five and six bolt. I um, never thought of that. Like the second you go from a five to a six bolt pattern, yeah, it just doesn't even occur to you, yeah, like how much that affects all of that design in there. Well, and the best thing is like a lot of customers, um, and I think a lot of clients just think, you know, they're like, oh, I'll just make it a five lug, or just make it for my car, and they don't realize what we do is we have to take something that exists that we've built and change it and tailor it for you know a certain application, and it's not always the same. You know, different cars exist different projects show up that are completely custom and we'll have to go through with that, um, engineer it, develop it for the customer. And that's one of the biggest benefits in like a truly tailored forged wheel um, versus something that's just off the shelf cast or a forged brand that's not really familiar with doing custom stuff all the time. Um, and we'll do it like hub centric. So you see like the hub here on, uh, on the design is enlarged to fit the Raptor. The, the center bore is, is tailored for it. The center bore is smaller, uh, smaller, pad as well, so um, all these things change during engineering and design development. So, That's crazy. Yeah. Peace. Peace. I know you. How are you doing? You have a good day? We had a pretty good day. Weather here was kind of gross and wet, cold. It was cold, wasn't it, Gabriel? Yes, sir. We even got some snowflakes. Uh, we should probably end the vlog here, you guys. Because we probably find somewhere to sleep tonight. Good point. We do not have anywhere to sleep yet. We haven't booked a hotel. We want to stay somewhere out near the airport, which is not around here. We're downtown Vancouver right now. Rich Mound. Rich Mound. Guys, smash the subscribe button. Throw me a thumbs up. You want to rep some merch? Uh, this is a blacked out hat. This is a really bad example. I'm wearing the I'm wearing the one sold out limited edition hat that only 99 people got. Are you just wearing somebody else's merch? <laughs> <laughs> None of us are repping any of the merch that's available. I'm my own merch. But yeah, you have your own merch. There is merch on the channel. 
dailydrivenexotics.com, link in description. I hope you guys like today's adventure. It's only gonna get crazier as of tomorrow. Uh, make sure you go and check out Gabe's seven figure entrepreneur, link in description. And if you really wanna go out, if, true loyal people, if you really wanna go out of your way, link in description for the first time, and probably the last time, Dave's Instagram. All the haters, go and bug him. Hey guys, go. G GTR is not a supercar. Oh, <laughs> end of the vlog. Shout out to the outro squad. We got a few options now while you're here. Definitely smash the subscribe button over to your left and turn on the notification bell so you know when we drop our latest upload. Check out our merchandise on our store at dailydrivenexotics.com. Go and browse the other videos in the archived playlist or just click on the next suggested video right here and you guys keep watching my pretty face.